Hello, so you've asked for some exercises that we can do using some weights and as well as using body weights, I thought it would be useful to see what we've got in the store cupboards that we can work with that um, are equally balanced. So I've got a couple of litres here in each hand of cartons are quite nice, but uh, I know the closer of my friends amongst you, this might work even better. So it's about finding something that you've got to hand that you can use. Obviously, when we're first starting with weights, we want to go slowly and just really take our time with it and see how we feel. But um, using weights is a really good way just to um, obviously build a little bit of strength in your muscles. Yoga is all about strength and flexibility. I think a lot of people get that wrong. They think it's all about being super uh, bendy and flexible. It's not. It's about building strength to complement the ease of movement that you have once you've been doing yoga for a while. So to add a little bit of um, muscle strength to that is always really good. You don't have to do very much, but like all the habits that we've been looking at over the past few weeks, it's about doing little and often and building and building and building on what you're doing. So, you know, don't think that uh, 10 reps is never going to get you anywhere. 10 reps every day gradually turns into 12 reps, into 15 reps, and maybe you start using heavier weights. And that's how you build on any sort of habit. It's about just making it doable. If you think, oh, I didn't manage to do anything today, that's it. It's a waste of time. Maybe take the approach of, do you know what, I've been really short of time today, I'm only going to do five. And then you get that, that feeling that you have at least achieved something, even if it doesn't feel like very much. So it's all about just building the habit to start with. So finding something that you feel comfortable with. Obviously, I've got my wine bottles here. And some nice things you can do with your arms is just face your hands towards the front. So I'm looking at my two bottles of wine here. My, my elbows are only just wider than my ribs. And just stretch the arms up and down again. So just noticing how that feels. Taking it nice and slow. It's the slow control that will start to build the muscle. And when you come down, don't bring your arms all the way down. Take them up, stop at halfway. Take them up, stop at halfway. Take them up, stop at halfway. Now the idea is, my recommendation would be, do this as many times as it takes for you to get muscle fatigue. I don't need to um, describe that to you for you to know what that is. You will know when your muscles are getting fatigued. We just want to get to that point, that's enough. Just know what your number is. If it was 10, then that's great. We've got a starting point. And from there you can build. So maybe next week, or maybe in three days time, you think I might be able to add a couple more to that. And that's a really good day. If you've managed to add a little bit to your habits and um, you get a sense of accomplishment, that's brilliant. So that, that's the first one to try. The next one to try, you can do it without using any weights at all, just lifting your elbows right up and putting your hands down your shoulder blades like so. Just finding your posture here, really tucking your tummy in. Let me step back a bit. So you're tucking your pelvis under, really just taking those elbows right up. And again, we're looking for the point at which we get fatigue. So what we're stretching here is these tricep muscles here bingo wings so always nice to do a bit of work with the bingo wings so just taking a moment to see how you're breathing here that will tell you everything you need to know and once again once you start feeling fatigue just unwind the arms and bring them down um, we'll use another couple of weights here just in case you haven't got two bottles of wine handy I'm going to use my milk cartons now so taking your arms out to the side um, just so that you're holding the weight and you'll soon become aware of how this affects your shoulders. So from here, just start circling into your shoulders, nice small circles. You might feel the fatigue building already and then let's go the other way. And then when you get to the point where you think, oh, I can really feel that between my shoulders, gently lower, very, very slowly. And take a moment, loop the shoulders round and back. You know, we don't want to kill ourselves on the first day. It's just seeing where we're at. 
and then bringing the arms up to shoulder height and making the circles a little bit bigger. So we're challenging our arms in a different way here and the shoulder joint. You might find that a kilo in each hand, which is what I'm using, doesn't sound like a great weight, but believe me, it really works into the shoulder. So being mindful, if at that point you can only do a couple of um, circles before you get real fatigue, maybe switch out the weight to something a little bit uh, less daunting. So if the kilo in each hand was too much, which is what um, a litre of anything would weigh, I think the wine bottles weighed a little bit more. I think they were nearer um, a kilo and a half in each hand. If that's too much for you and you get muscle fatigue really, really quickly, why not get a couple of cans instead? They're um, less than half the weight of the other two things, so 440 grams are in most um, cans, and that might be an ideal place for you to start. So just seeing how that feels. So we'll look at a couple of different exercises that we can do. Again, using the, the biceps, which are the big muscles at the front of the arm that we're familiar with. So holding your hands, um, hugging your elbows into your, your waist here, right in front of you, and just lower the cans and raise them again, very gently. So make sure you're not gripping those cans really, really tightly. So we want to maintain a loose-ish grip, obviously not if you're holding wine bottles, they're very precious, you want to hang on to those. But with a couple of cans of tomatoes, I think you can release your grip a little bit and just work those biceps there, see how that feels. And then taking the, the arms um, to the side of your body, just, I don't know if you can see, I'm just taking my hands all the way down to my hips again. So we're straightening the arms out here, but take your time as you bring the arms back up. So really seeing if you can tune into the muscles that are uh, being activated here. So it's biceps on the way up, triceps on the way down, biceps on the way up. So the biceps are at the front, the triceps are at the back, and then giving that a rest there. And then standing with, with your cans at your hips here, just taking them up to shoulder height and down, up to shoulder height. Sometimes it's useful to perform these exercises in front of a mirror or some sort of reflection or as I'm doing at the moment, obviously I'm filming myself and I can see where my shoulder height is. There is a tendency if you're not um, so aware of, of your own body at the moment or your proprioception where, where you're limbs are in terms of space and in relationship to other things it's sometimes handy just to have a little look you'll be surprised at how many people think that their arms are, are level at this sort of thing i see it all the time when we're doing warrior um, or shoulder height to some people means this so it's just checking out where you think you are so again we're just working to the point of muscle fatigue here we're working the the uh, rotator cuff at the top of the the shoulder and when you've had enough of that, just taking a moment and just taking any movement that feels nice to release off those muscles. And now taking, hugging the elbows back into the body again. This time we're going to take the weights behind us. So we're very much working the triceps and biceps again, but this time it's the, the triceps that are leading the way and the biceps that are bringing the weight back in again. So all the time we're challenging different muscles, just seeing how you feel while you're doing this. And if you want to add a little bit of um, challenge to the weights that you're doing, those of you who are used to using weights, and maybe you have um, proper weights, you know, dumbbell type weights, and you're using a lot heavier weights than a kilo, maybe you want to add in a leg squat while you're doing this. So this, this will challenge you a bit more, get into, um, you know, a bent knee squat, and then you can just take the weights up and down, up and down, up and down. So the other thing you can do, rather than using weighted items, you can use your own body weight against a surface. You can either use a wall where you're, you're doing a push-up like so against a wall, so you just need to um, angle yourself slightly away, or you could use a work surface. I will show you how.
So just coming to lean against your work surface, maybe with your feet about, about three, four foot away from the, the surface that you're going to lean on. Really make sure you've got a firm grip here. And um, in yoga, we don't do normal press-ups where our arms come out to the side. We hug them into the body all the time. So just hug them in and push them away. You might find that um, I've told you to stand too far away. If this is a new thing for you, then come a little bit closer. Less is more when we're starting out. So just leaning your body weight into your hands, which are just resting over the sides of the surface. Just seeing how that feels. Trying to keep your legs perfectly straight while you're doing this. Ankles, um, heels are down, flat on the floor. And just hold yourself and become aware of which muscles are working here. It should be the pectoral muscles here as well as your biceps into your shoulder. So it's quite nice sometimes, it's when you're doing the holding and you're loading the muscles here. This is what's challenging them and builds the tone. So doing five of these is far more efficient and beneficial than doing 30 where you're doing like this. So to actually load the muscles, and hold the muscles and breathe, working out what your fatigue rate is. So if you're absolutely exhausted after doing two, then that's fine, that's your starting place and you can build to three and then up to five and so on. But if you can challenge your muscles and load them in a very kind of um, non-aggressive way, if you like, so we're not going, it's not all about speed, it's about finesse, and about being able to just hold them in the place where they are safe and you are supported. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do a body weight um, press up for want of a better word. It sounds a bit scary, but we will be going down on our hands and knees and I'll show you how to use your arms there. And we will also look at doing some leg weights as well.